turning on this bus is just like uh, turning on a new car. Put your foot on the brake, hit the power button, and then foot off the brake, and that means we're ready to go. Well, public transit is, I mean, it's just that. It's public transit. It's moving people, and it's moving people in an efficient manner. The City of St. Albert has always prided itself on taking the first steps. So transit leadership was tasked by Mayor and Council to look at uh, EV technologies. We first acquired our first three electric buses in 2000, spring of 2017 was the first three came on board. We picked up another four in the spring of 2018. So we have a total of seven uh, of these buses with uh, accumulated kilometers right now to date of 580,000 kilometers. The City of St. Albert has an environmental sustainability policy that forms the base of all of our environmental goals that we push forward. The transit system at the City of St. Albert is a key piece to the city achieving its environmental goals. By bringing on electric buses, we're able to further decrease that total emission that the city produces and help riders feel confident that the choice they're making to take transit is a green one. As you see, there's no uh, diesel motor in here. So what you do is you have, I could just quickly explain what's going on. Uh, you have two of the uh, 12 regular 12 volt batteries here. And just when you turn the master switch on, this is powering the bus until it goes into high voltage mode. Um, you got electric power steering pump, electric compressor, and then you got your power, power systems here that can uh, deal with the DC DC voltages. And uh, both left side and right side drive motors are, uh, are cooled. There's a little coolant tank on each side and uh, pretty simple. Okay, so environmental benefits of electric bus is uh, we have right now 51% uh, reduction of greenhouse gas emissions by utilizing electricity in Alberta. It's produced by coal, but it's still 51% reduction as compared to burning diesel fuel and the emissions that go along with it. Um, we do actually have the electric bus, we have two chargers at the uh, transit station, at the transit garage, that are actually hooked up to our uh, solar panels. And the solar panels also, they benefit because they're, it's green power, it comes in and it goes to the chargers and it's a, it's a plus, it's a big benefit. Charger four and five are powered by the solar panels. So as we say here, charge buses anytime, this is our, this is our baby right here. So I think overall the City of St. Albert has a big appreciation for the work the corporation does to help them achieve their green goals. I think green goals in the City of St. Albert are looking at their footprints, so uh, looking at where their energy is coming from. A big push to get the solar array on the transit building was, okay we've got these electric buses but we're pulling from coal power. What can we do to make it better, right? So that was a huge consideration and a lot of the community got behind using that grant funding to build the solar array and have it be in action. We have, uh, like I say, four sections of the roof, 753 uh, LG 400 panels, and uh, it's a solar edge system uh, with the inverters, and uh, they produce 285 megawatts of power annually. Our transit garage consumes approximately 700,000 kilowatts now. And out of that 700,000 kilowatts, some of that, of course, is electric bus. Uh, in 2019, we charged 186,000 kilowatts uh, out, of the, out of the building. So what we're looking at is uh, seven uh, power inverters. It's taking these cables from above. These come from the solar panels, and they come down into the inverters, the two, and then the one comes out so these inverters change the power from DC voltage from the panels to AC and then the cables go into the building via breaker box and a disconnect box and it goes into main distribution panel. The green energy and the, you know, the sun's energy supplying those kilowatts to the electric buses and, and also going to the rest of the building. So if our electric buses aren't hooked up and charging, that solar energy is coming into the building and is going to everything from LED lights to heaters, to uh, compressors, to you name it. And uh, it's really exciting. We don't treat an electric bus any different than a diesel bus. 
So uh, it gets, it's under the same maintenance program, preventative maintenance, and then we do scheduled, unscheduled maintenance as well. Electric bus right now is coming in at 51 cents a kilometer and a diesel bus, a 40 foot bus is coming in at 96 cents a kilometer. That's all in with diesel fuel or electricity and maintenance, all in. This bus in particular, these electric buses, they'll go out for 10 hours in a day, let's say, and we'll match that the next day with a diesel bus. And the electric bus will come back after the 10 hours and it will be charged up with $25 worth of, uh, of kilowatt of electricity and the diesel bus will go on the same trip the following day with the same driver and uh, it will take about approximately $105 worth of diesel fuel um, and of course there's emissions associated with that. We have an 18 year life cycle of, a, of our transit buses. Uh, a diesel bus at the end of its life will burn approximately $577,000 worth of diesel fuel and produce the emissions. With electric bus we've worked it out at the current prices with a tiny bit of inflation, we've worked it out to be approximately $277,000 worth of electricity. So we're talking about a $300,000 savings, uh, which, uh, which we're excited about. There's great positive response by the City of St. Albert uh, residents for the electric buses. The local community has grasped a hold of these buses. They like the fact that they're quiet. They, uh, they want to ride around in the buses. They're green, they're air conditioned in the summertime. They're heated well in the wintertime. And, uh, you know, a lot of them get on an electric bus and they're smiling, so that's, that's a plus. It's a great honour to work for the city. Uh, as someone who, who cares about the future, I think it, it's really reassuring to work for a corporation that is putting the needs of the environment up there with the needs of their community. It, it speaks volumes to their leadership and their, their care. The city of St. Albert is it's a green community. It's, it's about cultivate life, a botanical arts city. Uh, we pride ourselves on that. Uh, we're, we have the advantage of being a, a, a small group, straight from the executive leadership, the mayor and council, to the transit leadership team and the environment, because the environment was a big part of this. And uh, we were able to, through, through testing and through evaluating the electric buses, we were able to make a, a decision based on our real-time data that that these buses would benefit the St. Albert, would work in St. Albert, and especially considering that we love the environment, so it worked out well.